Welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to do design of underground water tank using robot structural analysis. You can see on the screen the robot structural analysis first page. In that, you need to click the new and in the top row, third icon, you need to click shell design. So here is the grid you need to create now. For this grid, we are going to consider a 10 meter by 4 meter of water tank is having a depth of 2 meter. And base lab at the, of the water tank is 250 mm extended all around. So I am going to create the grid likewise. So first grid is 0, second is 0 0.25, 10.25. Ten point five. Let this uh, grid shall be in uh, numerical values. Next, I am going to enter y axis zero zero point two five. As my water tank size is four meter, it is four point two five. I am entering here four point five meter is a total raft size and let it be in alphabetic and the third one is z axis for that 0 meter I'm entering and 2 meter which is a depth of the tank that should be numbering as values applying here and you can see the 3d line here the window so now I am going to create slab and wall structures for that i need to select this view pane in x y and z direction sorry x and y direction whereas z to be in zero so i need to click the icon fourth icon in the right hand side structural element in that floors i need to collect so for that floor i need to select as a rectangular and this is to be designed as a shell thickness I am going to consider as 250 mm so I am renaming this element property also so this is in European standard C30 by 37 is a grade of material I am adding this selecting from this list now I am drawing the base lab. So now we had created the base lab element. Now next we are going to create wall element all around. So I am selecting the 3D views. In the right hand side the structural elements icon to be selected. In that walls to be picked. So here my wall is going to constructed 250 mm from the zero grid whereas the height should be 2 meter it should be drawn upward so I am selecting this up positive and I need to define the thickness of the wall also so let my wall shall be 200 mm thick and the grade is also in uh, European standard C3030 7 so I am adding this I think this element is already exist so we can directly pick from the drop down list here it is so now I am going to draw wall Now wall around is created. So next is we need to define the support conditions. So for that we need to pick this support condition icon which is in the right hand side. Generally this is support to be assigned in a planner because this is uh, underground water tank which is going to rest on subsoil so we need to define the foundation 
support conditions based upon the uh, planner condition there are other three such as nodal and uh, linear also available so in that i am going to select the pinned one whereas i need to select the side where i have to place this support so i am selecting this edge it's wrong so once i need to pick this slab so i'm selecting here and you can see in the bottom there is a blue color support like structure your element which is all around so this is a pinned support we got assigned at the base of the slab so now we need to apply the loads and the load combinations so for that i need to define the load i am here defining the load as a dead load and a live load one is a dead load and two is a live load and next is i am going to define the loads so for that i am clicking the loads menu in that load table so here i am going to apply two kind of loads so one is self weight another one is a live load for self weight the robot will consider as per its material property and their density if i am selecting this whole structure means it will consider all the element which are presented in the screen so you can check this by clicking the list so this is highlighted in blue next i am going to define a live load a live load is nothing but it is a hydrostatic pressure i am going to apply due to the water inside so this water static pressure i need to apply on all the four walls so first i am going to apply on the first wall and stating that the density of the water as 1000 kg per meter cube here we need to enter here and height we already consider as a, a total depth as 2 meter so that uh, we can allow a free board of uh, 200 mm so the liquid depth is 1.8 meter so this uh, hydrostatic pressure should be applied in minus z direction that is vertical downward direction so i am selecting this so th in the left hand side just below the menu list you can see that uh, object inspector there you can see the numbers of numbering of walls which are start from 2 to 5 so i am selecting here 2 so you can find here that 2 is assigned in this wall so we need to find out the load direction and the load parameters also so that we can able to understand on what which direction the load is applied and whether if the correction is required or not so we had applied the hydrostatic pressure in wall number 2 so similar like i am going to apply in all the wall so now the hydrostatic pressure is applied all the walls around so let me check in the screen whether the direction and the magnitude are applied properly so before that let me hide the axis structural axis which is not required for that uh, right click display structure structure axis i need to untick so which is not required at this time so now you can see the water pressure hydrostatic pressure is applied 
in a triangular shape in the all the walls but thing is that in wall number 2 and 5 the pressure are applied in a correct manner that is triangle pressure from inside which is acting on the wall whereas <coughs> in other side you can see the pressure applied is from outside of the wall actually it is not correct these two wall loads are not correct so we need to change this axis for that we need to go geometry because we need to change the geometry of this two wall so under geometry we need to click properties in that properties you need to click local panel direction so this uh, two wall we had selected 3 and 4 and click change of local x sorry z axis since and apply now you can see all the hydrostatic pressures are acting on the wall from the inside so now we had applied the basic and primary loads on the wall then the next one is load combination for that we need to click loads automatic combinations i am going to click so under automatic load combination you need to select the standard codes uh, which is uh, which is to be referred for load combinations after that uh, whether it is a full automatic uh, combinations or simplified automatic combinations here you can see the numbers of load combination also i think that simplified automatic uh, combinations is not unavailable is not available and fully automatic there are five and if you want to click the manual combinations also we need to click by manually so if you don't want to be done in automatic method you can also go for a manual method of load combinations for that you need to cancel this and you have to click the loads menu select the manual combinations so in that you need to type the load combination number whether it is uls or sls you need to select from here uls is ultimate load state so i am here typing uls combination 1 add okay so you can see here this window there are two primary loads which we had defined already that is dead load and live load and here you can see auto auto means the factor which we are going to define in this list will be multiplied with the load as per the primary load cases suppose if dead load means it will consider structure or non structure and category a to f sorry h it means a live load and for snow it is 1.5 already it is considered as per european standard en 1990 2002 so similar like wind temperature accidental and uh, seismic are listed here and their factors are here if you want to change the factors means you can select the rep respective loads and you can change here your values and click change so likewise you need to select from here so here uh, for a dead load i am going as auto so it is which is 1.35 and for live load say for example i am going for 1.5 factors or 1.4 factor so you can see here the factor and i am clicking apply next i am going to add new load combination which is a serviceability load combination sls so here i am typing sls so for sls if you see here factor all the factor for live load dead load wind seismic temperature all are having factor as 1 so i am selecting dead load and live load and moving to the this uh, 
list of cases in combinations. So you can see factors here as one as I had selected factor as auto. So now I am clicking apply then close. Then the next one is we need to discretize our uh, element. So we had defined the load, live loads, dead loads, and load combinations, and even the support condition also we had defined. Now our model is ready for a discretization. Discretization is a process to minimize the entire element into a small element, which is a finite element, so that that stress value can be assigned or analyzed uh, easily. So for that, you need to click the icon in the top showing options of FE miss generation. In that, you need to click generation of calculation model. Now you can see the model. It is generated by various discretization element. So now the entire water tank element is discretized and the support are considered at every nodes which are formed during the discretization. Then the next is I need to define the element properties. For that I need to go job preference which is in uh, listed in the tools, job preference. In that materials, I need to select the material standard as a European. So in European, we no need to bother about steel, aluminum, timber. So I am selecting this grade of concrete. So save current parameters. And for design codes, all are in European by default. Loads also in European. So okay. save current parameters as default and click OK. Now you need to design the reinforcement. For that, we need to go for design. We need to click, click required reinforcement of slabs or walls options in that code parameters we need to click. I am going to modify this RC shell. So the main reinforcement direction is automatic based upon its movement. It will calculate auto. And the materials also as in structure model. If you untick, you need to define the material grade. We already defined that material grade, so no need to worry about it. You can untick this. Next one is uh, SLS parameters. So in Eurocode, you may find that there is a Whenever it comes for underground water tank, we need to design for cracking also. So this factor we need to find out from the European code. So this is a European code to be referred for crack distance. So this is EN 1992 part 1 of 1. In that page number 121, if you want to go, means you can see here table 7.1n. Here based upon the exposure class of the concrete and the reinforcement structures like whether it is a reinforcement members or pre-stressed members with unbounded tendons or pre-stressed members with bounded tendons. So we need to consider as per this of our structure. So I am considering my exposure category is XC3 reinforcement members. So for me, it should be 0 0.3. So let me add here as 0 0.3. So reinforcement is by default it will consider. So I can change this as a shell one as this kind of parameters is already defined. So materials also I can define now.
you can see here i am unable to pick the diameter of the reinforcement because i have not defined that uh, reinforcement standard so i have to define that first so i need to go to tools in that job preference i need to pick from the design codes or yeah standards databases in that databases i need to click the reinforcement bars you can see here only bs standards are there i need to add european standards so i am clicking this plus symbol so going to the list european standard i can find out here en 1992 part 1 adding this into this and i am selecting this and pressing this set as default or current database so i am saving this and okay so now i am close this and again going to create the new kind of elements so now if you double click this you can find out the reinforcement bars here which is as per european standard so you can choose the restricted reinforcement which we are going to design for your underground water tanker by selecting from this drop down list so i am selecting the 12 mm diameter for all the values so that is top and bottom reinforcement both the directions x y direction so likewise you need to select here and the cover also you can type it here and as this is rc shell is predefined element methods we can select this and no need to change anything and you can close it and we can simply apply this rc shell to all the element which we are looking here for that we need to select all the walls and the slabs together and you need to select from this reinforcement type rc shell and the grade we already defined as c30 37 which is as per european standard and for this calculation purpose we need to select as a shell and all the elements i am going to design it so select this analysis parameter now we need to run the calculation which is a icon just below the menu bar now you can see in the bottom line it is showing in a green color stating that results of fem is available so now your model is ready for a design of reinforcement so for that you need to click design required reinforcement of rc slabs or walls so you will have windows like this for this you need to select this uls and sls cases and we know that our element are start from 1 to 5 and click calculations so now you can select this right hand side area tab for a reinforcement area and apply the values so you can see the maps here and the values also visible here so it is stating that the reinforcement requirement is 452 square mm for this wall and for the slab also it is 4000 sorry 452 square mm of reinforcement is required similar like you can select the spacing and the number of bars also here and click apply so it will show you what is could be the spacing requirement so here the 250 it is showing so we can consider 250 tall dia at 250 mm and also you can check other parameters of this uh, water tank like, such as bending moment results such as plate uh, results you can find out from here moment in x y directions you can also see the result in graphical method graphical view for that maps you need to select and we select uh, want to find stress in uh, x direction and y y direction x y direction you can find out from this or if we want to get the values means we need to click here values and click this we will find out the 
actually we have our loads are very less we, which we had consider we have we have not consider all the other loads which is going to act in a real project time so that's why it is showing very less stress and less membrane forces So that's all about the underground water tank design. Thank you. Look description for more related.